In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a ghost monitor to your Mac laptop. It gives yourself a second monitor and allows you to use full presenter view in PowerPoint in a Zoom or Teams meeting without having to add a physical second monitor. How do we add a ghost monitor? We use a virtual display emulator plug, which is what you're seeing on the screen right now. That's a photo of it beside a quarter. Notice how small it is. It's really just an HDMI connector and a little chip behind it. And it just plugs into the regular HDMI port, either on your laptop or on your adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into uh, the adapter that I have on this laptop. And you'll notice that it now says that there is a second screen. And how do I know there's a second screen? Because the arrangement tab is here on the display settings. And I see that it is beside the uh, display that I have. And you want to make sure it doesn't say mirror display. You want it extended because PowerPoint Presenter View needs that. There is a setting for the other display that is visible on that other display. But of course, it's virtual, so you can't see it. You can gather the windows with this button and that will allow you to see the settings here if you need to change them. But you really shouldn't need to change them. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the system preferences here. And I am uh, back to PowerPoint. So I have my PowerPoint uh, running. I also have a, uh, a Zoom meeting uh, already in progress. And in PowerPoint, what I wanna do is I'm gonna to go to the slideshow ribbon and I wanna to go to set up slideshow and make sure that the slideshow monitor is set to monitor two. Notice we have two options here, primary and monitor two, which means it knows there is this second ghost monitor available for the slideshow. And what I can do is I can now go ahead and put myself in slideshow presenter view mode, click play from start, and I see presenter view on my laptop screen. And the reason I know there's a second screen is because I see the swap displays button in presenter view. If you don't have a second screen, it won't show you the swap displays. And now I just simply go through regular presenter view the way that I normally would. And I see my slide, I see the upcoming build, I see my notes, I see the film strip along the bottom. Now I wanna share this in the Zoom meeting. So I'm gonna use command tab to go back to uh, Zoom here. And I've already minimized my Zoom controls, so let me just bring those up again. And now I can share my screen. And in Zoom, you'll notice I have Desktop 1 and Desktop 2. Desktop 2 is that ghost monitor. So I'm gonna click on that and say, go ahead and share that in the meeting. So it shares it in the meeting, and you can see that in the recording on the screen right now. So you're seeing what the audience is seeing. So I'll go back to presenter view here, click on that. And now I can simply move through presenter view the way that I normally would, clicking to advance each of the builds on this particular slide, seeing my full slide, I'm seeing the next slide, I'm seeing my notes, everything the way I want. And the audience is just seeing my slides because I'm sharing that ghost monitor with the Zoom meeting. And it makes it really uh, great for you because you have all of the features of the full presenter view available to you. And that second ghost monitor that's being shared is very high resolution for the attendees. If for some reason you uh, get some content that ends up on that second monitor. So I'm going to go ahead and exit my slideshow here. And if for some reason you end up with something on that second monitor that you don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move this over this window over and you're going to see that it shows up on that second monitor. So it's now gone to the second monitor. How do I get it back to this monitor? Well, on the Mac, what you can do is you can uh, right click on the icon for that app in the taskbar down at the bottom, go to options and say, I want to display this on des desktop on display one. So moves it back to display one, which is your laptop screen. So if you ever lose anything off on that other screen, just know you can get it back by simply moving it uh, using the built-in, and that's a built-in operating system function. It's not something that's unique to PowerPoint. Uh, it is built into the operating system. 
Uh, so it works for any app, whether it's PowerPoint, Word, or anything else. When you're done, you simply uh, stop sharing your screen in Zoom uh, and you get back to your regular Zoom meeting window. So that's how you can use a virtual display emulator plug to create a ghost monitor on your Mac laptop, which allows you to use full PowerPoint presenter view in Zoom, Teams, or any other uh, meeting platform, even if you only have your laptop, as long as you can add that ghost monitor. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.